<laughs> You're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. <laughs> you literally just translated it. <laughs> I'm gonna reverse translate that and like let's see. Let's see what it turns into. What is that Chinese? Simplified. Simplified Chinese. Oh, shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. I don't know how the fuck you jumped into my site, you nasty. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> look at look at what it translates to. I'm gonna translate it again. Turn off your bitch ass. <laughs> Amazing. Where's a? Uh... Where's Japanese? It's getting worse. <laughs> it's slowly getting worse the more I translate it. I think we should start this stream. I just did. Oh, okay, good. This is all life. <laughs> Good song. I cannot because I don't have the stream up. That just means I, I should have everybody up. with the stream. Why did you just spam fucking Broly in this? <laughs> or Broly. 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 What are you talking about, man? What do you mean by that? Fanception is live. Fanception is fucking balling. <laughs> he do be balling. But up he go, bitch. I can't find this fucking dang and rampa collection. God. <laughs> Bro, just look for it at Indigo. Yeah, Indigo, sure. Indigo, Do they not have it? Indigo's gonna have that, like video. Wait, game. what is it? The game. Oh, it's a game. Oh, I thought it was a book. No, it's the collector's <laughs> edition for the new collection that's coming out. Bro, it's making me scared, because I want the collector's edition for God of War. And I know bro, it's gonna be a pain to find. Look at how much shit they got in this collector's edition, bro. They got four fucking posters. Four posters! <laughs> four posters. An OST <laughs> remixed OST. Fucking not not a steelbook, but like a steelbook outer box that comes with all the shit inside of it. Like the box like the box goes over over top the uh the other shit, so yeah. It's a cloth poster. <laughs> oh boy. Bro, I want this, bro. He heard a first chat. He wants it. It comes out soon. It comes out like next week. Draw. Just keep drawing. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what <laughs> what is this, bro? We find the dumbest shit funny. 
Bro, I should get the Doki Doki Literature Club Physical Edition. Get the soundtrack on a record. What does this come with? Oh, it actually comes with stuff. It comes with a download for a soundtrack, which, okay. Some, like, cardboard things. A membership card, a physical poem, and stickers. Mature 17. <laughs> I know there's like side stories in this, right? You know, it's still crazy to me how this game, like, got nominated for Game of- like, or no, it won Best PC Game of the Year back when it came out. Like, that's just crazy Damn. to me. Speaking of Game of the Year... What do you think's winning? I hope Metroid wins. Please. Please. I would say it deserves it, for sure. Fucking god, bro. How does- Since- you beat it like four times or something. Uh, three times. <laughs> I'm thinking of uh, doing a fourth time. Yo, is this Sandman? Sandman's in Jump Force! It's Sandman! Sandman from fucking Spider Man 3? This is. Who is Gara? Is he Naruto? I think so. Nah, that's Sandman, bro. Yeah, no, he is Naruto because he has sand powers. I remember this one, like, this one situation where we, where this group of kids, it was actually pretty dark, there was a new situation where this group of kids were, like, imitating Naruto, but they were, like, just joking around and they buried this kid in the sand. And he was like, he was like, hey, yo, very, very, very my head too, okay. He's struggling. They're like, oh, he's just joking around, you know. He died. Oh. Now we're just fooling around. <laughs> we're just fooling around. <laughs> It's like everyone on fucking How to Catch a Predator. I was just fooling around. Or no, what is Eddie? Eddie Brock says we're horsing around. Or is he fooling around? I forgot what Eddie- Eddie Brock! <laughs> I'm sorry. Horsing around, that's what Ninja says in YouTube Rewind 2018. Quit horsing around! The fuck you said to me, little shit? <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, happy bitch. <laughs> She's your with that man. <laughs> Who's a- where's Yusuke from? Yusuke, I think, from, uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Which is the Cause... manga that the Hunter Hunter author did before Hunter Hunter. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like Gun's dad unlocked. Anyway, we should actually get to the game. Let me just load up my emulator. Bro, one of these days I will have face cam. It's gonna be the dumbest shit ever. I might watch you, Yuhaka Show. Yeah, 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 Haka Show. The fucking. Yeah. 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 Wait, how long is it actually? Is it long? It's pretty long. Is it? I might watch it. Watch ReZero, should, please. It's like the perfect should I, show. It's the perfect. Should I, should I watch a... You know what I was watching a little bit, like yesterday? What? Dragon Ball Kai. Watch ReZero, please. Half the show takes place in the winter anyway. So it's Canadian? I'm gonna take Wait, away the -Oh. bad rights, bro. Like... Yu-Gi-Oh is here. Oh my god, they have it subbed. Wait, what? I never got into Yu-Gi-Oh. I was just like, Wait. no. It's just no like... way Yu-Gi-Oh's only freaking 27 episodes, that's not right. Oh, they do have Yu Yu Hakusho. Wait, is there different Yu Yu Hakusho's? 
This one is Yu Yu Hakusho Izu Hakusho English subbed. You know what's my favorite title for any? Oh, these uh, are OVAs. You know what's my favorite title for any anime? Hmm. Let me show it to you. I was talking about Duel this with monsters. someone in Sacred before. Let me find oh my it. God. When did you send okay, it? Yeah. Oh, he was posting a lot of shit today. God damn it. Bro, get off Discord, bro. Just let me see what you're posting. Stop posting more shit. Here we, here we go. So, this is the actual title. Actually, no, this is this is a joke title. You know how, like, some Izekai anime have, like, really long titles? Mm -hmm. This is my favorite joke one. <laughs> this is my favorite of the joke ones. What? One. What the hell is this? But... No. They only have the dub for Yu-Gi-Oh. I would have watched it if they had it subbed, bro. Honestly, these aren't, even, Netflix some, these aren't even some of the longest ones. <sighs> oh yeah, one of my fa- Yeah, here's the, here's the super long ass one. Look at this. Look at this actual- this is an actual title for a fucking, uh, for a light novel. I'll delete the other text so you can actually read it. This is the actual full <laughs> title. Bro. Da. 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 Is this website still down? I wanna watch Yu-Gi-Oh now. I'm gonna transition to DS games. Fuck! They closed down the site, those bastards. That site was good. <laughs> Wait, what are you... What's that website? Kiss Anime? What, what do you mean? Is that good? To watch um, anime? Use, Where use, do you watch it? Use this, well I usually use Crunchyroll if it's on there, but if I, it's not on there, I'll use Kiss Anime, but this is the link you have to use. Because this is the only safe one. It's not a link, but I'll just copy and paste it. I mean, I have a job, so I, I could just get Crunchyroll. Eh, I mean, you could just use my account. <laughs> True. I still... Yu-Gi-Oh. yu gi -Oh. Your mom gay. Ooh, suspended. Your, your, you, your, 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 you, 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 your, your, the hell is, oh my god. Bro, I can't even touch the scroll bar with a pop-up. <laughs> Bro, how much is Crunchyroll anyway? Why can't I use Crunchyroll but I'll just get ads? I see Crunchyroll. I just want to watch Yu-Gi-Oh! They do have Yu-Gi-Oh! Cultural, also. Two hundred and twenty-four episodes. That's a lot of episodes.
What'd you send me? Mm. <laughs> you, you hack a show. Is this crunchy run out of you, Hakusho? I think it. Hello? Is. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's right here. Start watching. Are you just gonna watch it right now? Right. I press start watching and it doesn't do anything, it just reloads the site. <laughs> is all the episodes actually listed on there? No. Oh, that's wait. not on there. Bro. If he, if you don't that's see annoying. episode one yeah, it's dumb. They do that a lot. Bro. Yeah, Hunter Hunter. Should I rewatch Hunter? Watch Re Zero, it's on there. It's on there. Re you watch it. Z, Z. It it is Re Zero. Re it is literally, it is literally right here. It is, it is. Re? If you do watch it, watch the director's cut. I keep saying that because the director's cut is way better. And it also has the uh, OVA in there. Too. Yes! The OVA is a Aniplex. special. Aniplex. So I like how he says Aniplex. I need to rewatch re ReZero, actually. There's only 24, 25 episodes? Of what? Well, or is it... Or season 1 has... 25? So what, there's only 50 episodes? Only, you say? Well, I mean... It's not that much. And I was considering watching Dragon Ball Kai, and that's like 170 episodes or something. You know. Because now that I've finished Red Dead, I can uh, start watching Amine again. <laughs> <laughs> don't I don't even know what to say to that. Don't even get to play. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, some news on JoJo. Say, just... Some news on JoJo Part Six. Um, go Joe, go go do. The opening is going to be um in three D, just like the old ones. Damn, that's crazy. Damn. Daniel. <clears throat> okay, you know what? <laughs> oh, don't we have Dragon Ball Super? Damn. Bro, just yeah, put DBZ on. Sure, like, come on. Just put DBZ in. <laughs> It's because Funimation has it, even though Funimation and Crunchyroll are now basically the same company. I don't, I don't fucking know what they're doing. See, but the difference is, uh, Funimation's fucking, like, player is so garbage. Like, I, I had a free trial of Funimation so I could watch the, uh, Danganronpa 3 anime. And it was trash! It was fucking trash! Oh my god! Bro, for some reason, halfway through the episodes, they just switch. They just switch from the uh, uncensored versions of the episodes to the censored versions. For fuck's sake! Although, so I can just get. Although I find it weird that like the uncensored, the uncensored version of uh, the Danganronpa three anime, it changes the uh, it changes the color of the blood from pink to red. But, like, 
everyone's so used to it being pink because of how it is in the games. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just realized that the only reason I started playing Ace Attorney was so, because, like, I was like, damn, Danganronpa was pretty good, but I've already finished all the games in the series. What now? <laughs> what do I do now? <laughs> and, hey. Why does One Piece go from season 15 to 18, and then straight to 22 and then to 28? One Piece doesn't have seasons. What the fuck? It does. What are though. you looking on? I'm crunchy. Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll doesn't split into the seasons, though. I'm on the app. Yeah, season one is one to sixty-one. One Piece special edition. No, let me see this. What? No, it's not seasons. It's split into I'm arcs. On the app. It's split into arcs, not seasons. But it says S1. The fuck? But where's, like, the new stuff? Oh, right here. 892 to current. So they're at... That's the one I want. 1001. I haven't seen the newest episode, actually. I saw episode 1000, though. Yeah, see, this is what it looks like in, uh... In the actual thing. The special mm -hmm. editions are just like HD versions that were on Blu-rays. Which I'm pretty sure they're not cropped to shit. Let me actually check. Are they cropped? Are they did they just put them into widescreen? I think they might have just done it. Any picks. Let me let me see. Let me see if they Episode actually just of... fucking made it. Are these movies? Heart of Gold. Uh, those are episode of East Blue. Those are all uh, specials, which are like movie length. Oh, okay. Did they actually stretch? The I mean, you. Just... They did stretch. Sure I don't know. And I, 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 I. I actually. Yeah, I know I should be playing the game, but I need to research the special edition HD. What? Credit. Just, bro, no way. Just. There's 400 episodes of Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh no, not four. Yes, 460 episodes. Oh, why is it dubbed though? Where's the sub? Wait, what? What? Season 1 subtitle? Oh. A story that ends in light. Okay, I'm gonna play the game, <laughs> game now. Wait, for Christ's so sake, we've been streaming for five. almost 25 minutes, and I haven't even started the game. This always happens. <laughs> anyway, from save point. Let me open up this iced tea. I'm gonna switch this up, hold on. <sighs> Yu-Gi-Oh! Last Epi- Epice Sipso. Bro, I have you way too fucking loud on Discord. Cause like every little sound you make just peaks the mic. <laughs> oh, all I hear is just and then yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's, um... we are investigating with Detective Bad. Let's just present stuff with Detective Bad. The final duel. Let's present the fingerprint marks. All right. It seems the culprit pair gloves in advance. That's why only finger marks and no fingerprints were left behind. Could you get the information from the size of the fingers? 
that would be difficult. In other words, this evidence is meaningless. It's a bit too early to, dis to decide that. This could also become a clue. It tells us, the culprit did not leave fingerprints. You always have a comeback. It's because you're a defense attorney. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay, let's... I'm just refreshing myself on the evidence by talking with Detective Bad. Oh, he's not gonna talk about this. I would like to ask your opinion on this piece of evidence. I refuse. I hate pointless chatter. I guess he's not that interested in things he doesn't think are related to the case. Uh, the teapot, maybe? Nope, he's not gonna talk about that. Okay, let's investigate this ship. Ooh, we can investigate this. So this is where the body was discovered? Yeah. The body has been removed. But otherwise, the crime scene has remained untouched. Okay. I wish this game had... I, I think I might just be spoiled by uh, the Greatest Attorney games and the... Uh, Ace Attorney, like, HD Trilogy. I wish they- we had the, uh, like, check marks on the stuff you've already, uh, examined. You know what I mean? Mm. Cause, you, you, you know, the, uh, PS4 versions have that, right? Mm. It has the check mark over the- over the cursor if you already examined that thing. Yeah. Same thing in, uh, The Greatest Attorney Chronicles. Mm-hmm. To build a large ship out of chocolate is magnificent. Magnificent. <laughs> it's expected of Master Jeff. I want to try eating it. Although I have no idea where to start eating it from. Anywhere should be fine. But if you start eating the crime scene, I'll make you leave. Uh, don't glare at me. Can't, can't you tell us a joke? I'm doing it to the judge for Mr. Dewey. <laughs> That's what a heart attack sounds like. Amazing. I'd like Raymond Amazing. to be just a little bit calmer. No, Richard. I will. I'll be back. I'll be back. It seems that the body was discovered inside this chocolate treasure chest. The person who discovered it was Miss Hall. Monsieur Master, are you in here? Oh yeah, we already had this flashback. She heard the sound of something breaking inside this room and came in. Yeah, what would cause it to break? Is it just... Someone snuck in there and shifted it, maybe? I have a feeling maybe someone snuck in and tried to, like, sabotage it or something. And then accidentally revealed the body inside the chocolate chest. I would like a little bit more information about this. Mm, what's this? Something has been dropped inside the treasure chest. Hmm. This is... It seems to be some kind of seal. With a design and in initials carved into it. It looks like a sig signet crest. Was it the victims? I don't. I mean, I don't know if it was the victims, but we should take it for now. All right, got something out of that. So even the water is made out of chocolate. That's actually kind of cool. I don't know how that would work, but hey. The void. The Voyage of the Good Ship Red Rum is written here. It sailed the seven seas, and in the end, finally found a huge treasure. Modeled after the glory of ancient adventurer, it's written here. So he failed six times. What an unlucky captain. No matter how many times he went on a fool's errand, in the end, he reached the truth. It's just like a detective spirit. Do detectives even exist during the ancient times? 
need. Puck is broken off piece. Okay, that's a stand? It seems that the stand supporting the ship has been broken. Our table! It's broken! <laughs> the ship tipped over and broke the treasure chest, didn't it? Ah! Uh, may maybe! Could the victim have been crushed by the ship and killed? If that were the case, this would have been an accidental death. You do. Aren't serious about that, right? Well, we were only discussing one of the possibilities. Yeah, that's being pretty serious, though. Detective Bat, I would like you to tell me about the state of the victim. If you mean a photo of the body. Here, look at it. All you like. All you can eat buffet of gore. <laughs> it seems the victim was beaten to death with a blunt object. Beaten to death. Watch the murder weapon be chocolate. Bro, if it was- if the murder weapon was chocolate, that would be kind of untraceable if you think about it. Because he could have just eaten it, melted it, whatever. Has the murder weapon been found? You... I should try asking the prosecutor in charge later. Prosecutor? That's probably Von Karma, isn't it? Seems he doesn't intend to tell me, frankly. So, may I borrow this photograph? Sure. It's not a photo that I was taken by the police. Miss Hall took a photo of the body with an instant camera when she discovered it. An instant camera? Isn't that like a disposable camera? An instant camera is a camera that can develop its film right for after taking a picture. From www.wikipedia slash <laughs> instantcamera.org. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm on. And such a convenient camera exists? Anyway, let's go over the state of the crime scene a bit. This photo, upon closer examination, contradicts the state of the crime scene. A lot to deduce the contradiction to resolve this matter. Notes in the crime scene, the body was recovered by the police, touch the next details. What does it contradict, really? Does it contradict something here? Probably gonna have to use the deducing thing to get that. Yeah, okay. Let's see, what does it exactly deduce? Or, not deduce, uh, contradict. Found a checker chance to chocolate? Cause of death is a hard blow to the head by a blunt object. Hmm. See, the blood is. Yeah, the blood is spilling out there, but. He would be in the treasure chest, too. So that means he must have been killed in the treasure chest, but that's not really possible, is it? Or maybe it is. I don't know. Unless that ring wasn't even there. Was it there? No, it was there. Okay. Just doesn't show up in here for some reason. Singing crest. Anything else? Frame finger marks, Jeff's teapot? No. I think it probably contradicts this. I'm just gonna make a wild guess here. Uh, sure. Let's go for that. Eureka. Nope! I fucked up. This ship is confectionery. How sweet. Otherwise, we could board the ship and sail down the Chocolate River. One unpleasant dismissal. Okay. Something that was here before isn't anymore. Where is it? Let's check the picture then. Hmm. Is it that piece of the treasure chest or what the fuck is it? Huh? Oh yeah, that piece of the treasure chest is like down on the side, not there. Oh, there we go. That, that actually contradicts the picture. It's different. Eureka! 
think about it. I'll think about it. What do you mean it doesn't work, bro? Come on. Come on, bro. Shut up, bro. I asked you, bitch. Because I'm fucking upset. Come on, I need this part? I mean, I don't know. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, man, that sure seems a little suspicious, doesn't it? But no, Detective Bad is gonna fucking shoot me. So. <laughs> he shoots me every time I get it wrong. What do I. Sh Something that's here isn't before. Is it that. Wait a second. Premium, bro? That's annoying. No, it's, we can still see through that. Uh, we can still see that part. That little mast area. Routed. Yeah, what's well, good? Would you recommend... Oh, the Kaisen? blood isn't there anymore. Oh, I see. What were you say talking about? Should I watch Jujutsu Kaisen? Yes, it is good. I recently How long is watched it? it. It's 25 episodes, and there's a movie coming out uh, next month. Okay, okay. I'll put this on the watch list. Watch ReZero, and I'll do. I'll play God of War. How, is there only two seasons of ReZero? Yeah, uh, there's two seasons, each 25 episodes, unless you're watching the uh, director's cut, which is 12 one hour long episodes. Um, season 2 is 25 episodes, and there's two movies. This one. The first movie is included in the director's cut as episode EX. And the second movie is uh, Frozen Bonds. There we go, I finally mm. fucking got it, it was the blood. Hey, you said watch the director's cut, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's good. There's English, Spanish, Portuguese, normal one. Just director's, director's cut. cut. Yeah. English. Bro, this is so confusing on the app. Yeah, Crunchyroll does not have good, like, language selections. It's always so confusing. And they, and they always count the, like, different languages as separate episodes. For some fucking reason. So, like, when you see, when you go on, like, the app, it says, like, 110 episodes, and there's actually, like, 25. They just count all the language yeah, variations. The director's cut of... What is this? Hmm? Is this season one? What? You... Yeah, it's season one. I, I just told you. I just told you literally everything. <laughs> no, I'm, like, I'm talking to myself because on the app it says... Season 20, ReZero, starting life in another world director's cut. It's just season 1. The app is fucked. I know, but season 1 is life in another world, right? Yes, because that's the, it's the director's cut, yes. Okay. Uh, and season 2 is just... It's just it, normal. It should just be okay. season 2. Where is... Let's see, so season 2 is... It starts episode 26, I think? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I might consider getting Crunchyroll. Or just use my account. Just don't pay money for it. Well, where is your account? I'll, but I'll, it's only on PlayStation. I'll give you the account details later. <sighs> but for Alright, now... right. right, get back to the game. Are you sure the only thing the police removed was the crime from the crime scene was the body? Ah, they also took away the piece of cloth the body was wrapped in. In that case, a major contradiction has been created at the crime scene. Contradiction? Detective Bad, please look at the crime scene carefully once more. The blood stain that should be, should have remained at the crime scene has disappeared. I definitely didn't get any reports about the blood stain being cleaned up. I'll check with forensics. Mr. Edgeworth, what happened? Hmm. Comparing the photo and the crime scene, something struck me as a bit out of place. In the 
the photo, the chocolate underneath the body remained intact inside the treasure chest. However, in the actual crime scene, it's missing. The chocolate with the blood stain has completely vanished. Yes. Did the police remove it, or was it the work of the criminal? According to forensics, no one has cleaned up any blood stains. I see. That well, that would mean that someone erased the blood stain. Who knows? Okay, that should be everything for that now. Um, let's check out these barrels. It appears to be a display of sailing equipment. There's also the possibility that one of these is the murder weapon. No, it looks like these pieces were all made out of chocolate. You can't beat someone to death with these. Misleading. At any rate, they have all—they all have such good work. Work. That's all, folks. That's. Shut the fuck up, you nasty bit. Big chunkers. They all have such good workmanship that they look just like the real thing. It really speaks about the level of skill Mr. Master has in this craft. Let's talk to you, Mr. Man over here. What are you investigating? Sir, I'm checking the temperature of the stream. What have you learned? Sir, this stream has warm water. The stream is connected to the fountain in the patio and runs through every room. It's an unusual construction for a room. The minds of the rich, I'll never understand. Okay, let's talk to the motherfucker here. Guard number two. What about over here? Was there nothing suspicious no. in the cupboard? No, sir! So there was something. Oh, uh, no. Only things like, uh, cooking burners and tableware were placed in there. I see. Defense attorney. Was there nothing that you noticed? No. So you didn't notice something. Oh no, I didn't notice anything. Everyone's always giving replies that are difficult to understand. I think it's your way of asking that bad. That's bad. That's his iconography. Browden. What? Say, uh, detective bad backwards. Bad detective, like... <laughs> no, like, bad backwards. Stop it. <laughs> 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 That's dumb. <laughs> anyway, let's do some uh, nice logic time. Broken stand and breaking sound, those are probably connected. Due to the broken stand, the ship lost, lost its balance. It would seem Miss Hall entered the room upon hearing the ship collapse. Yeah, when Miss Hall entered the room, the ship had already fallen over. At any rate, I wonder why the stand broke. Maybe there was something wrong with the ship's balance in the first place. Is that really true? Why the stand broke? Tampered desserts? Sure. Each of Mr. Master's works had a piece that was missing. Add that to the fact that the ship's chocolate stand was broken. I think we can surmise that someone ransacked this room. And the one who did it could be the true culprit. That I don't know. But I think it's safe to say that the ship's stand got broken when the room was ransacked. And, when the ship fell over, it broke the treasure chest lid. I expect that the lid of the treasure chest was originally closed. There we go, investigation complete. You beat the game? 
I just beat the first investigation, that's it. Yo, he beat the game, let's go! <laughs> yes! <laughs> let's go, he beat the game! It seems our investigation of this room is just about over. Bro, I love this chapter so much. This should Bro, make honestly, it clear. It, Jeff Master is, is the culprit. My favorite chapter. Just of, what? Of, like, heaven. <laughs> Out of all the Ace Attorney I've witnessed, this is probably my favorite chapter because Here. we have Detective Bad, Clark Kent, freaking Bushmaster. Yeah. Bushmaster, Chef Bad, like, bro, this is the best chapter. This is like the No Way Home of Ace Attorney for me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's quite literally the final chapter of their game. That has like le literally like every character, like every main character in it. But what about Detective Bad that was in? I don't think so. But he wasn't so introduced he until investigation, which takes place after uh, Trials and Tribulation. Exactly. <laughs> I was just... Yeah, so the final <laughs> chapter of Trials and Tribulations, we get to see, we get to play as Edgeworth in there. Uh, Francisca returns. Um, Larry Butts it's is also the there. Bit, right? Yeah, Larry Butts also shows up. Um, it it's like the ending to the story, the the entire story the game had building up. It's also the ending to the entire trip, like the story about Maya that the, the uh, trilogy has been building up. Mm. Um, and it's just it's just crazy. It's absolutely insane. Oh yeah, by the way, there's two there's two of the cases in the final game. You get to play as uh as Mia Fey. Oh that's cool. In flashback cases, just like this one actually. And those two two cases happen to be the best ones. Uh, except for the final one. Alright. <laughs> Why? All the rooms in this mansion were locked from the inside. And the only way to open them from the outside was to use this key to the mansion. That's a Luigi's Mansion ass looking key, bro. Come on. <laughs> Mario. 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 <laughs> Why? There was no Luigi screams as he's being choked to death. That's what it is. Mario. Do you know who had the key? Master was the only one with the key. There were no spare Bush. keys. By using the mansion key, Master could enter the con contestants' rooms. Of course, the key could also lock his room from the outside. However, Mr. Master's room is currently unlocked. Yeah, that's why I suspect Master is the culprit. I'd like to hear your reasoning in more detail. Oh boy, we get to cross-examine Detective Bad now. Ooh. We just instantly game over. He's too powerful. <laughs> he just crashes the game. If the body had been found in the locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. That's why Master made sure to leave door leave the door open. Or that's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. After the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in Master's room. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was awake. Contrary to his expectations, the body was discovered by Miss Hall. 
That is my reason for suspecting Master. Got that, Ace Attorney? This game, this game mentions the term Ace Attorney more than any other game. <laughs> so you, you also think it was Mr. Master himself who vandalized this room? Yeah. You defense attorneys believe that justice lies in trusting your clients. But I'm a detective. If I believed every poor sap's story, I'd let the suspicious, the suspicious ones get away. I understand your reasoning thoroughly. However, I'd like you to hear my thoughts on the subject now. Ah, fine. Detective Bad believes that he is right, but I won't give up so easily. I can't accept his reasoning. I'll have to show him evidence that contradicts it. Bro, both of these fucking characters are so cool. This is the, the meeting of Chad's. You cannot... You cannot fucking... You cannot... You literally cannot, like, handle the amount of alpha male, a alpha male energy radiating from this game right now. It's the best game, bro. Like, we got fucking... Clark Kent and fucking Chad Jonah Jameson, like, come on. <laughs> exactly, bro, exactly. When I say Chad Jonah Jameson, I mean because he's literally wearing fucking suspenders and a tie, and has a mustache and beard. Yep. He's the final form. <laughs> if the body had been found in the locked room, Master would have been the prime suspect. Ooh. Isn't it a little premature to suspect Mr. Master on those grounds alone? It's a little premature for you to be objecting. <laughs> Bro, that's a new animation. He he decides not to pull out the mirror. Unless, wait, I haven't seen him pull out a mirror at all this game. What if that's just actually him pulling out a gun? <laughs> just wait until I'm done. That's why Master made sure to leave the door to his own room unlocked. Ooh. He left it unlocked? If the door had been locked, Master would be the only one who could have committed the crime. Well, maybe the door just happened to be unlocked. Then, maybe the body just let, happened to be lying in the open, waiting to be discovered. Runt, do you think you can become a good detective with logic like that? Uh, but I, I don't want to be a detective. I want to be a defense attorney. <laughs> I hope he isn't trying to steal my apprentice. Master had a reason to leave the door unlocked. And to ensure that the body would be seen, Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Ooh. You believe the broken lid was Mr. Master's doing? Yes. If he hadn't done that, the body wouldn't have been found. It doesn't seem likely that he would break his own word while he was judging the contest. That's right! Master Jeff would never waste a good dessert. On piece of cake, he even eats them while dancing. That TV show is irrelevant here. Detective Bad. You know about Piece of Cake? When I didn't even know about? What? This is a surprise, so... D do you sing the song too? That's... I irrelevant. Anyway, the one who broke the lid on the treasure chest was Master. After the judging, everyone was scheduled to meet in Mr. Master's room. The judging, began in, the judging began in Mr. Gustavia's room, right? Yeah. I, too, was looking forward to seeing his candy craft. Hmm? If you would like, I can put on a craft of my candy. Or a, a craft of my candy display. A display of my candy craft for you right now. What do you think? It represents Sir Detective. Um, is that supposed to be a police dog? No, 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 no. This is a wolf. A 
lone wolf. Not bad. What would my candy be? What would my candy form be? I'm kind of curious myself. You know, I'm somewhat of a curious myself. Moving on. That would have created the impression that the murder had occurred while he was away. Ooh. Do you know the time of the murder? You're still waiting on the autopsy report. Without the autopsy report, how could you have arrested Mr. Master? We don't know the time of death, but we do know when the body was discovered. It was discovered while Master was judging Dame Gustavia's room. I believe he let the body be discovered to create an alibi. But that alone is not enough to arrest Mr. Master, right? Who knows? That's all I intend to say. Detective Bad, are you hiding something? Detective Bad seems adamant that Mr. Mad is the culprit. Or Mr. Mr. Mad. <laughs> Mr. Mad. <laughs> like the fucking drunk driving. <laughs> Bro! Doc Detective Bad, like his... <laughs> he created the drunk driving, like, PSAs. That's why it's called Mad. <laughs> Don't... Don't drunk drive, or it'll make Detective Bad mad. You'll turn into Detective Mad. Yeah. I, I don't think Master Jeff would have broken his own creations. But, but why was the treasure chest broken then? Hmm, just think back to the situation where the body was found. In doing so, we should be able to see the contradiction in Bad's reasoning. Master broke the lid on the treasure chest. Um, let's see. I don't think he, he didn't break the lid on the treasure chest, because... Um... Because of the, uh... This thingy. Because the, uh... It's, he didn't break the treasure chest. The stand holding up the ship broke it. Objection. Originally, the victim's body was hidden inside the chocolate treasure chest. Miss Hall entered the room when she heard a sound. I think it is likely that this was the sound of the chocolate ship falling over. Yeah. That's what you would like to think. Judged by looking at the crime scene. He said that Mr. Master broke the treasure chest lid himself. But, this photo shows that the ship's fall caused the lift, caused the lift to break. If the lid broke just before Miss Haw found the body, then Mr. Master, who was in the middle of judging, could not have broken it. Uh, I never said that Master broke the, broke the lid directly. The ship was set up to fall during the judging. I believe he tampered with the stand. Objection. Do you have proof he tampered with it? No, but the investigation isn't completely over yet. It seems they still haven't found anything conclusive. Have you found any other fingerprints other than Mr. Masters in this room? Yeah, there were some left on the door. But, the victim, Dover, and Masters were also f among the fingerprints left behind. Before we made our desserts, we gathered all the judges here. Or, we, we all gathered here to have the judging explained to us. Perhaps that's what he left those behind those fingerprints. But, we didn't find any fingerprints on the works in this room. What? Someone tampered with the chocolate in this room. So perhaps there are other fingerprints on it, apart from Mr. Masters. No matter what we find, it won't clear Master's suspicion. 
Labby, hurry up and dust the chalk for fingerprints. Roger that, sir. How would he even go about eating that shit, bro? <sighs> Detective Bad. We found another person's fingerprints on all the chocolates in this room. Who's fingerprints? They belong to a pastry chef by the name of Delicia. Good work. Return to the investigation. Yes, sir! So there's another person involved in this. It would seem there are other suspicious people besides Mr. Master after all. I don't need a defense attorney to tell me that. I'm not stopping my investigation. We will just go and listen to what this Delicia has to say. Delicia, Gustavia told us about her not long ago. Is she really a frightening woman who would do anything to achieve her goal? Mr. Edgeworth, this Delicia lady sounds mighty sus to me. <laughs> it seems that will, it will be necessary for us to speak with her directly as well. Detective Bad, would you allow us to accompany you? I'm not obligated to do that. What? But, you were the ones who discovered the truth of the crime scene. Fine, have it your way. Follow me. Detective Bad, thank you. He bows! He bows! But he does like a respectful bow. With his hat. Yes. He has the respectful bow this time. That's the defense attorney bow. <laughs> Even though I can't see Phoenix Wright doing that at all. <laughs> Bro, I actually can't wait to play uh, the 3DS games. Do you want to know why? They why? have fully 3D investigation sections. It's similar to how Danganronpa does it. Danganronpa does like a mix of that. It has a mix of 3D sections and uh, like 2D uh, point and click sections as well. When it comes to investigating. <laughs> Detective Bad, sir. Are you sure about that? Right now, that prosecutor is in the room. Are you sure about that? Doesn't matter. Him and I don't see eye to eye. <laughs> Him? Who's the prosecutor in charge of this case anyway? Manfred Von Karma. What? Von Karma's in charge? <laughs> that guy hasn't lost in a case in 25 years! Why does he look younger in this? Probably. Manfred Von Karma, the living legend of the prosecutor's office. If the rumors of this courtroom... <laughs> If the rumors of his courtroom performance are to be believed, he's a man who, will, who would do anything for a guilty verdict. No matter what kind of prosecutor he is, I can only hold true to the path I believe in. To be continued. On the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Goku oh. meets the new character, Candace. Bro, what is this fucking Disney castle, bro? Why they got, like, drills? Why they got, like, full-on fucking Gurren Lagan drills on the sides, bro? What the fuck is that? If that's made of white chocolate, nah, she deserves to go sent to prison. Like, who the fuck likes white chocolate? I take offense to that. Shut the fuck up, no. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, white chocolate shit. <laughs> It's not. It is. It is yeah, literally. Right here, it's bro. not even chocolate. It's not even chocolate. And? Fine, so I that... like white. I enjoy white. See, here's the thing. Most white... <laughs> Do you most... want me to call this but most, white? Most white desserts aren't even that good. Explain that to me. Other than cake, most white desserts aren't that good. So? Exactly. 
That includes Come. ice cream. I don't like vanilla ice cream, so... Well, I, I'm fine with vanilla ice cream, I just don't prefer everything else over it, so, yeah. Well, most of my desserts are just coconut. I don't like coconut. I just wow. don't like chocolate. Candy Castle! And there are even some fairies over there! <sighs> Bro, what the fuck is... This room? Seems to be structured in the same way as Master's room. But it's nowhere near as cold. This room also seems to have been fitted with a temperature control panel. Ah, it's over by that orange lamp, right? Indeed. Let's not forget to investigate it later. Even so, this room is like something out of a fairy tale. Is this cream colored castle Delicia's work? Where is Delicia? Oh, can I help you? Bro, I did not expect her to be fucking sh fucking literally. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> fucking gremlin, god. Hello, boys. I'm just just going. But I'm not being the. Mr. Lucius. Being called a boy, even though I'm already 34, it's certainly a rare experience. Bo boys, I understand you calling me that, but Mr. Ashworth, sorry, I'm I feel like I could say you're a boys to be, even that detective over there. I'll just talk like <laughs> my name is Bad, not Boy. Just how old is this woman, Mr. Attorney? Let's just finish our business here. Right. Oh no, I heard it! The objection! Manfred Valkarp's objection! Oh god, OBJECTION! OBJECTION! <laughs> you, what do you think you're doing? Conversing with a mere attorney! <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth! A scary man came out of the ca candy castle! Von Karma! Hey, this man is Prosecutor Von Karma? It, Manny. So is Von Karma. Pleased to meet you, Prosecutor Von Karma. My name is Gregory Edgeworth, defense attorney. He does look a little bit younger. He has a different outfit. Bah. I have no interest in the name of defense attorneys. After all, they only exist to be crushed by me. What a rude man. More. <laughs> He's for Here's no some reason. For a bro. Uh, he seems scarier than the rumors say. Although that statement was also very rude. Prosecutor Von Karma, would you allow us to investigate too? You think you I would give information to a mere defense attorney? As I thought, it won't be that simple. However, I'll make a special exception for this room. Why did he change his mind so quickly? You, old bloodhound. Don't call me that. My name is... Bad. Ah, a mere detective speaking back to me. I admire your courage, at least. I hate Bad. this guy. How dare you Stand Stand and watch that, this, to see that they don't misbehave. Why? Me? I would not accept your refusal. Well then, I'll be investigating Gustavia's room next. I'll this be man. audacity to frickin' disrespect Detective Bad. How dare Bro, you? Bro, finish episode 4 so you can disrespect him back. Bro, I'm about to kill this guy. <laughs> I'm babysitting again. Wonder why he I will and Von transform Karma... into Detective Bad and kill him. I wonder why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Instead of being on bad terms, it seems like they hardly know each other. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. Now that we got Von Karma's permission, 
We can continue. We can continue investigating. Yes, his manner bothers me, but I'm glad we can at least continue the investigation. Hold it. I also need to investigate this room. I don't want you disturbing in the room. So you'll investigate after me. What? Aren't you the detective in charge of this case? Why haven't you been invest haven't you investigated this room yet? The detective in charge of the initial investigation was a close colleague of Von Karma. There's another detective? What the shit? I came to take over for him, so I only just got to this mansion just recently. So that's why he and Von Karma aren't investigating together. Detective Bat, will you allow us to investigate with you like before? In doing so, you'll be able to supervise us and also ensure we don't tamper with anything. You want me to watch you? You're a strange lawyer. I'll let you stick around a little longer. Yeah, you did it, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, well, this, this, I, I swear to God, this man Gregory Edgeworth has waves under that hat, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Detective Bad. But if I decide you're holding up the investigation, you'll have to leave. Yes, I understand. Well then, let's begin the investigation. I accidentally paused. <laughs> there we go. Wow, I'm on chapter two. Epic. Of what? Jump for story mode. <laughs> Why are you playing the story mode? <laughs> so I can buy clothes. I need money. Who's watching this right now? Uh, me? Ramen Perfected, Ninja Killer, and then a bunch of bots that don't actually show up on the viewer page because there's like always these types of fucking bots that are just always in here. I don't know why. <laughs> They're gonna spam Detective Bad. They're gonna Detective Bad 122, <laughs> Detective Bad 124. Why can't I? S oh my god, Luffy looks so weird. What the hell? Why do you send me a picture of Leorio deep throwing his hand? That, that that's a that's his final form. <laughs> Let me skip this cutscene. I don't care. I just need money. <laughs> It sounds a banger. <sighs> yeah, let's investigate. Is there the any Hunter Hunter games? Uh, yeah, I think there's one on DS actually. Oh, that's cool. We should get a fighting game. Fighters, Hunter Hunter fighters. I can't believe this amazing castle is built entirely entirely out of confectionery. I know. What a work of fantasy. It's like a fairy tale world. Like a fairy tale. Why, why did he just make him into a dying, like, old man? It's like a fairy tale. You'll like all this fairy tale stuff, don't you? Ah, no. Sorry, I, I got a bit too excited, didn't I? No. It's interesting to me since you're so enthusiastic about it, unlike my son. You're a son? He's only in grade school, yet he prefers to read law books instead of fairy tales. I'm worried that he won't be able to make any friends that he can talk to. Heh, <laughs> what an interesting kid. I'd like to be his friend. <laughs> I'd think he'd be more of an older brother to him. <laughs> an older brother, huh? Well, I've got some growing up to do then. Did he yes. get another piece of paper? Yep. <laughs> Yes, and that's why I've got to continue with the investigation. Okay. Let's start with the inside here. The, the castle doors are open. When someone opens the door, they really should have remembered to close it afterwards. Would you see that directly to Prosecutor Von Karma, though? Huh? Looks like there's some stuff inside. Hmm, let's see. Wait. I'll examine it. Stay out of the way. Why is there so much? <sighs> it's 
fresh cream melts too easily. The cream is melting. A single touch can cause it to break. Fragile. Seems like Best Detective Bad's shoes got covered in cream. Why were these objects kept inside the candy castle? If there's anything you want to investigate, you better speak up now. Two big rocks are placed in here. It's like a storage room. Yeah, the inside of the castle isn't so dreamy. Hey! Maybe they're raw gemstones. Who knew there were such treasures hidden within castles? Seems like a rather careless way to handle treasure. Hmm? Looks like there's something underneath the rocks. Seems there's a pedestal attached to both of the rocks. Of course, it's a pedestal for displaying the gems! Well, in any case, this is no ordinary object. And there's also some tarps here. Same type of tarp that the uh, body was covered in. Why do we have four viewers? Cosbro. The best streamer in all of eternity. See, they're coming here for Detective Bad 127, bro. <laughs> Imagine it's the actual people from this stream. That'd be fucking <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> We've come to join you. We've come to join you. We have we have transitioned allegiances. <laughs> the the belief that Berlisi versus Danceptional War will begin soon. Thank goodness they're gonna like sue us. It's like a bad. There are also blue cloth here. Looks like there's four of them in all. They certainly don't look like desserts. Yeah. I don't know what the cloth is for. It almost seems like it was hidden here inside the castle. Also, the color of this cloth looks familiar somehow. Uh, let's examine these uh, little pillars here. Maybe that's where the- I think those are the, where the rocks are supposed to go, because it's like a hexagonal shape. Hmm, this pillar has a hexagonal recess. It looks like a pedestal, but it has nothing in it. A hexagonal recess, huh? I wonder what would have been put in there. Giant strawberry would, fish, would fit with a fresh cream. Detective Bat, I don't think the strawberries are hexagonal. I was just hoping. Then I hope it's a banana. I think I prefer blueberries. Bro, Detective Bad is a chat. Like, strawberries are good. Fuck blueberries. Fuck that. Bananas are good, but strawberries? Mmm. Mmm. My god. Personally, not a fan of strawberries. Oh my fucking god, get out of here. But. You literally bought a. Steak. You literally no, bought a like, strawberry banana, like, milkshake, bro. No, I don't mean, like, I mean, like, actual, fuel. like, real, the real fruit. I don't eat fruit like that, but, like, if we're talking, like, flavor, like, strawberry milk, freaking juice. Yeah. Don't I mean, hey. But, like, actual, actual strawberries? Nah. Get out of here. And what's your favorite fruit? Potatoes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think that's gonna be it here, unless we could use some logic already. Oh yeah, we already do have a lot. The pedestal of rock and heck is texting on the recess. Let's do those two. The rock's pedestal has a similar shape to the recesses on the castle's pillars. Perhaps the rock is meant to be placed on top of the pillars? Oh, that's right! They're both hexagonal! I wonder why they were hidden inside the castle, though. The blue cloth and the rocks inside the castle. I wonder if they belong to Delicia. Delicia! Those things inside the castle. What are they used for? Ah! Uh, don't... Uh, <laughs> 
I don't know what voice to give her. I'm afraid I can't tell you. <laughs> give her, um, Screwball's voice. No, stop. Stop right now. Stop. Please. <laughs> Looks like... Von Karma is keeping her silent. I've been fat all... You get mad at me if I talk... That's it. That is the one. <laughs> Prosecutor Von Ooh. Karma doesn't intend on keep being on front with, on, up front with this information. Ah, such a shame. We finally figured out where the rocks are supposed to go. Could it be that you're interested in my goods? Eh? Your, your goods? Those are my butt blow reaction goods. You mean the rocks and the cloth? You see, that's right. <laughs> you see, they're not actually rock. A special one made from rock salt. I sound more like Taiko Atiti than a British person. <laughs> wow, so those are lamps. Uh, uh, it, it gets even more exciting. Because the cloth has an amazing secret. As soon as we showed her interest, interest in her goods, she has become quite talkative. Since we got them out, come experience them at the therapy, boys. Come experience the therapy boy? What the fuck? Batty, can you put everything up? It's not Batty, it's bad. You sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> he do be looking kinda bad though. Is that Frog? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, listen, I'm not gay, but Detective Bad, he is a baddie. Yeah, he, he's definitely my first choice. So you won't do it? Is Batty being a bat boy? Bro, that's not even British. You just <laughs> sound like you're lagging. <laughs> <laughs> she's bro, she's lagging in real life, bro. People of this world are NPCs. <laughs> <laughs> the simulation's breaking, bro. Labby, are you done photographing this room? Yes, sir, I am. Then go help Delicia. Yes, sir, I'm on it. Uh, 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 thanks. I knew you could blow up underneath that. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Delicious, that was amazing. You even persuaded Detective Bad. <laughs> thanks a lot, buddy. Are you two forensics? She even gave the forensics a nickname. I think that's her way of showing she cares. What's so therapeutic about these things, anyway? We don't have time for that now, Batty. The show's about to begin. <laughs> Red six, <laughs> finishing dodge split. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You didn't even say please, <laughs> you said please. <laughs> <laughs> it's... Wow, it's so beautiful. It really is. I wish my son could see this. Oh, I told you so, right? The full face <laughs> of the Kyo's Candy Castle was the theme of my work. <laughs> Those sparkly and cute, but... <laughs> Seems like one of them is missing something. Oh yeah, one of them is missing wings. The truth is, I have played it all failing during the cutters. <laughs> 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 well, I'm glad I got to show you to you boys. Huh? But it doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are- It doesn't look like the rock salt lamps are lighting up! Uh, 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 I want what? I think I'll need to examine the rocks and the fairies again. Examine the rocks. Let's rock- Yeah, let's examine the rocks first. Uh, okay, there is blood on one of them. <laughs> That's fun. Looks like both the lamps and the pillars are broke and the pillars are broken. Both their light bulbs are broken. Our table! It's broken! Maybe they were it's dropped on the floor. There's some sort of red stain on this lamp surface. This stain. Could it be 
That smell. There's no mistaking it. It's a bloodstain. Curse of the moon. I don't know why I say that all the time whenever I say bloodstain. I just think of the game. That's a bloodstain? Why is there a bloodstain on this lamp? I wonder if this has something to do with the lamp bulb being broken. I should also take a look at the other lamp here. Alright, let's examine the other lamp. So this is where Delicia originally intended to put the lamps. I don't get why she put them in the castle. Since they're both- since they're broken and don't light up, maybe she decided to put them out of the way. If she wanted them out of the way, there are many other places to store them. It's like the old saying, hide the salt in the sugar bag. I think the saying goes, hide a tree in the forest. If Delicia intended to use these lamps as decora decorations during the contest, it creates a contradiction with that piece of evidence. I need to deduce the contradiction at the scene. Contradiction with that? What? Tended to use it. Contest rules. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Oh, okay. I see. Yep, contest rules. There we go. Eureka! Detective Bat, please read the contest leaflet. Any decorations not made from desserts are prohibited. Huh. These rock salt lamps and the fluorescent cloths go against the rules. So maybe that's why they were hidden in the castle. I wonder about that. I think we should investigate further into Delicia's actions. Okay. Should also investigate the rest of the room. Let's talk to him over here. Don't turn around. D don't, don't turn around. If you do, you're only gonna eat the castle. This forensics officer seems to be on a diet. Let's examine the countertops. There's a burner and some chemicals over here. They were probably used to make desserts. What are these chemicals? The writing on the label say number one, punch out, and number nine, suffering. Are they poisons? No, they are both used to make desserts. Seems to be artificial flavoring and coloring. Punch out is a catchy name for a fruit punch essence. <laughs> Very misleading. What bothers me is what the suffering stands for. What's going on over here with this angel thing? A cute candy fairy sitting on a tree stump. The cloth in the back, along with the decorations, really give it a magical atmosphere. When you look at it, it almost feels like you're spellbound. What we need to look for is the hidden truths of the real world. Don't be fooled by the fairies. Good point. <laughs> Good point, Detective Beth. Do not be fooled by fairies. There's a cover on the wall, just like in Mr. Master's room. Let's open it up. Hmm. The room temperature is 68 Fahrenheit, and the lights are set to green. Gustavia said that 50 Fahrenheit is the ideal temperature for fresh cream. This room's temperature is too high. Okay, okay. We're moving forward. There's a lot to actually look at in this. So we've gotten a lot of logic uh, things to work with. Uh, hmm. What else do we examine? This other fairy maybe? Is there a difference between the two fairies? Oh, they're missing a, like a cloth light thing. Unlike the other fairies, this one does not have a fl fluorescent cloth. Miss Delicious, it's not right to leave one out. 
I don't like it either. But one for less got in the machine has got missing. <laughs> You've lost a cloth and a machine? What sort of machine is it? Oh, let me tell you. Each piece of fluorescent cloth is hooked up to one of these machines. The machine is called a rainbow light device. Light is sent through the cable and into the cloth, which is made of optic fibers. It's fiddle around with the extra things a bit, and it will turn into all sorts of colors. When it goes red, it's like a raging inferno. And when it goes blue, you can almost feel the glittering cool ice. It powered by the upcoming computer, we can see the changes in the temperature. <laughs> oh, I'm not very familiar with these kinds of devices. <laughs> Mr. Usher, you say that's the machine that transmits light to special cloth. I see. It's amazing what they come up with these days. So, one rainbow light device and one for a flat villa and one fluorescent cloth are missing? Yes, see, that's right. Whatever could there be? This fluorescent cloth can be related to the case. Believe it or not. Believe it or not. Ramon is in that home. Please leave a message. Bro, I love how perfectly compressed and shitty quality your ringtone is. It's I like the, be the beginning of it that... <laughs> <laughs> like that part is so. <laughs> Where could Nah, like you have to hear it yourself. Hold on, I'm gonna call you, but just hang up. No, oh, I know what it sounds like. Yeah, but you want to hear it through my mic? It'll sound even worse. Actually, my voicemail right now, bro. Do I still have my custom voicemail? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I'm gonna make a different. Uh... Hello, I'm currently fighting a war in Africa. <laughs> I'm making myself a. A different voicemail where it actually says Ramon isn't at home instead of George, because clearly I'm not George. Bro, these people keep keep leaving voicemails thinking it's my dad when they hear that fucking like <laughs> that voicemail, bro. Come on. <laughs> I should make my voicemail. I'm not gay, Greg. <laughs> you know that picture? You know what I'm talking about? Oh. You're old enough, I need to find it. <laughs> it's so good. Here it is. You have to say sob, though. Sob? I'm not gay, Greg. You have to say sob. Sob. You, you must say it. <laughs> you must. It is a demand. I'm gonna call you right now. Just I'm not up. gonna hang up. And let it ring. <laughs> God. Believe it or not, one. You made a new one! What the fuck? Did I? Yeah, you did make a new one. Bro, I don't know. Bro, just leak my number on freaking. Oh, wait, 905 8. Oh, let's get Shoma's voicemail too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make a detective bad voicemail. The Yadagara suit. currently on an investigation, so I can't come to the phone. Call me later, and I'll give you a lollipop. <laughs> this is Detective Batman. Currently on an investigation. The phone. Call me later, and I'll give you a lollipop. 
<laughs> Save. Can't wait later and I'll give you a lollipop. <laughs> call my phone. Call it now. Call it now, bro. I want okay. to see if it actually goes through. Oh, but I have to listen to it. But I can't put it on speaker. Everyone's sleeping. <laughs> yeah, blasted. Can you hear it? No. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, I hear you actually calling out. I'll decline. <laughs> the beef is so perfect. <laughs> I'm currently on an investigation. Call me later and I'll give you a lollipop. <laughs> My other option was... I'll pick up the phone when he... I'll pick up the phone when he fixes his damn door! <laughs> what, did he, what did he leave as voicemail? It's so quiet. Why is it so quiet? <laughs> Bro, my grandpa's gonna call me again like last time, and he's gonna hear that. <laughs> this detective bad. <laughs> Bro, what if detective bad did like he did like a uh... what's it called? What's thing called? What was it? <laughs> uh, what if Detective Bad had a Fiverr account? He had a cameo. He had a cameo. <laughs> oh god, that'd be sick. I wanna make this a is new Detective one. Bad saying, Sus Among Us, Sus Among Us, Big Chungus, Big Chungus, Peter Parker. Okay, anyway, I should actually play the game. Um, let's talk to- uh, 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 uh. Uh. Huh? It's delicious, you don't seem as energetic as you were earlier. Delicia. And I just asked, did something happen with Von Karma? No, no, so- But you just said, Yessie. Uh, 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 <laughs> that Yessie was just now only a You're a cute boy, I like you. What's your first name? Eh? It's Raymond, but... Well, Ray right, Ray, right. I think you'll make a good man of yourself someday. Ray Ray? How about that? I think you have a way with British ladies. She's a little different from my image of a lady. Why don't we listen to what she has to say? During the contest. Does it not say her age? Nope. <laughs> I had a feeling. How old is Von Karma? 49? And he's got white hair like that, bro? He's just ultra instinct, that's what he is. How you 49 and looking like this? Meanwhile, fucking... Meanwhile, Detective Bad. Detective fucking Bad is 42 and he's looking like a Chad. Detective Meanwhile, you looking Chad. like this. Can you tell me about your actions during the contest? Yes, see, we began making this up for the contest around 10 o'clock. Basically, I was in here making the better sense the whole time. I have plus one. I just... I joined the afternoon tea for about an hour or so. Afternoon tea? It's a social occasion where conversation is held over black tea and cake. Um... So it's pretty much a tea party. Well, I suppose. I will be. Oh, oh Greggy, give us my po uh, uh. When did I become Greggy? Where was the afternoon tea hold held? 
took place in the gardens outside of the fountain play deal. It's a custom <laughs> Bro, my mind goes into like the weirdest places when I stutter. I don't know why my first thought was, oh yeah, I like to move it, move it from fucking Madagascar. Yes, sure. Alright. It's a cu customary brick tap during the cutness. It's always held at the same time. Today there were just three of us who took part. Jeffy, Kate, and me. Since Jeffy already finished the creations, it was there from the beginning to end. I see Gus did enjoy because they had finished their associate. I don't know. So everyone other than Mr. Dover and Mr. Gustavia participated. Yeah, actually, I haven't finished my dessert yet either. I just wanted to try some of the Jeffers' handmade pastries and to get this fresh fruit thing. <laughs> so I eat my food. I refer to. I can't do this anymore, bro. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> During the contest, did you enter any of the other contestants' rooms? Eh, oh, 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 what is it? We found your fingerprints on the desserts of the crime scene. Eh, you found them. Are you admitting that you went to the scene of the murder? Uh, I admit it. But I'm not the murderer. It's the honest truth. Please, please hear me out. Honest truth, okay. I don't even have the uh, Twitch creator dashboard open. Why does Google have a Christmas uh, thing? Seasonal holidays 2021, I guess the holidays truly start now. I should make special Christmas themed uh, intermissions and starting soon stuff. I'll do that tomorrow. But yeah, let me show, check out here. Got three followers in the past month. Hey, no subscriptions though, but I got some revenue, some cash money, cash money. Yeah, twenty-seven cents. Oh boy, oh buddy boy, oh buddy pal boy, boy pal boy, pal boy. I mean, I go, I get most of my money is well, most of my money from subs or uh, cheering. Where did my views come from? Other followers or a browser page? Detailed breakdown would be available once there's more views. External, most of them is direct, some of them is from Discord. It's actually literally only these two. How are you already on part 9 of this, uh of this series. Huh. Anyway, back to it. What were you doing in Mr. Master's room? The truth is, I was studying his desserts. Studying. Because Jeffrey's so talented at making sweets. Well, nobody was in his room at the time, so I just decided to study his works for a bit. Okay. That's one thing. More logic to work through. <laughs> but... If you were just looking, you would have left behind your fingerprints. You see, it's natural that we can curse on the desserts. For the sake of research, I ate some of those desserts. Eh? Isn't that like stealing food? It couldn't be. The one that wrecked Mr. Master's room was. Uh, I'm sorry. It wasn't my intention to vandalize the room, but 
I need to get a few pots of desserts in this room. I secretly ate a little bits and pieces so Jeffy wouldn't find out. So, did you eat the ship's stand as well? Yes, see, I did. The chocolate ship broke? Because of you? I I'm sorry. So the reason she left the afternoon tea early was to preserve her appetite. But you've got to believe me on this. I'm not the murderer. Her actions are sufficiently suspicious, but I won't press on it yet. Okay. I think it's time to logic some shit up. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to talk to Detective Bad. Let's notice anything. Here we go. This room. That's the same design as Master's room. Is something bothering you? Monica Karma was investigating. Inside the Candy Castle. I wonder. Why? Detective Bad, do you suspect Alicia? That woman is hiding something. My detective spirit is telling me so. Is that his detective's intuition? Something about this room def definitely troubles me as well. I should listen to what Delicia has to say. Okay, investigation. Since the circumstances have changed, we should investigate the scene once more. Yes, the fluorescent cloth behind fairy the fairy dolls. And the rock salt lamp concern concerns me. Why were they in the castle? No, why were they hidden inside the castle? I knew it. That woman smells, but not a sugary sweet no. smell. She we smells. need to have another look, to see if there are any problems with the scene. Smells. Believe it. Ramon, are you interested enough to play the entire Ace Attorney series? <laughs> Every game? I'll tell you, at least all the games I've played are really good. All of them. I don't know. I'd say probably the worst one out of them all. Uh, in terms of like the quality of the cases, it's kind of like a tie between, uh... It's a little bit of a tie between uh, Justice for All, which is the second game, and maybe Investigations 1, although I think I would put Investigations 1 above Justice for All. Hmm. Doesn't mean it's bad though, Justice for All is still really good. Especially the final I case. Don't know about... The final case of Justice for All is so fucking good. Like it has a really. I don't know about everyone. That's I mean, fun. you you can you can sacrifice another playthrough of God of War, <laughs> another seven playthroughs of that. Nah, God of God of War is that's just too important. I have to. I must. I mean, to be fair, I replay Mario sixty four way too many times. As well as you know what? Sonic I'm gonna snap out of war right now. Stop, stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> I need to steal your fucking copy of the game, bro. You can't have this. No. I'll steal your your computer. It's a fair trade. <laughs> That's a step up. I thought you were gonna say you'll steal my copy of God of War. Nah, it's just your computer. Bro, I've built up such a crazy collection of PS4 games in the past year. Mm. Like, shit. How many? Am I up to now? 3, 6, 9, 12. I have 15 physical PS4 games. I think that's bigger than your entire f physical game collection. Yeah. And it's just a lot. It's like, yeah, I bought Red Dead Redemption 2, uh... I bought Red Dead 2, like, last week. Um... 
I bought the two Kingdom Hearts games uh, when I found them on sale. I think I bought- didn't I buy Last of Us at the, the game store? Like, games, Oshawa? Pretty sure yeah. you were there, too. Mm -hmm. That's when I bought Black Freezer, I think. I know I bought Nier Automata on my birthday. I bought that on my birthday alongside Super Mario Party. Was it just Super Mario Party that I bought? I think it was. Yeah, it must have been just Super Mario Party. Because I bought that on sale. Um, I, I bought Persona 5 Royale, uh, Royal, I guess. Like, back when I got the PS4. And I was, like, around the same time it came out, too. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, my dad bought me God of War and NHL 19. My favorite. I think, my, yeah, my sister got me Fallout 4, actually. Anywho, I'm pretty sure I, I yeah, I bought a, I bought Spider-Man PS4 on Black Friday last year. That was before I got the PS4 though. Okay, uh, let's logic now. Okay, high room temperature and, uh. High room temperature and fragile desserts. There we go. The reason the fresh cream is so fragile is due to the temperature in this room. So my shoes got creamed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So my shoes got creamed because of the room temperature set at 68 Fahrenheit. Speaking of which... When you open the ca castle door, the doorknob didn't break. Yeah, I was stronger than I thought. Strong? A dessert? Detective Bad, do you have a closer look at the doorknob? Uh, this is... It would seem this doorknob isn't a dessert. And it's not just the doorknob. The castle and the fairies are just plastic models coated in fresh cream. Eh? This isn't a dessert piece at all. It would seem they're just fake desserts covered in fresh cream. Okay. Fake desserts. Okay, let's do those two. They're Brock and beaten to death. There's evidence that the victim was beaten to death with a blood object. What's more, there is a blood stain on one of the broken rock salt lamps. Could this lamp have been the murder weapon? You're right! It could have been used for a weapon! Labby, is the blood analysis on this rock salt lamp finished? Yes sir, it finished just a few moments ago. The blood stain on that lamp belonged to the victim. You heard what he said. Alright, we're moving along smoothly. The murder weapon was hidden in Delicia's room. We need to consider her as one of the suspects as well. Objects, disguises, stresses, decorations, fake desserts. Using decorations that were against the rules and making fake desserts. A lot of Delicia's actions seem suspicious. Yeah. It doesn't seem like she's aiming to be the world's greatest pa pastry chef. Also, the temperature of this room is way too high. Is there a reason for that? 
I wonder. I think we should ask Delicia directly. Alright, I guess we're done with logic for now. Room temperature. Delicia. Why is the room temperature set to 68 Fahrenheit? The cold does not throw a great bit. Blood is bad for the body. I didn't even say that. I just said but <laughs> This figure doesn't just maintain itself, you know. Naturally, as a late, I want to look young forever. I wonder, how old is Miss... Is, how old Miss Delicious really is? <laughs> Raymond. A true gentleman never asks a woman her age. Raymond? This room. Who is Raymond? Raymond. At me? Raymond. Ray, Ray Ramon? That's you. Yeah, that's you. That's... <laughs> oh, by the way, I just made a new greeting. What? I made a new greeting. What do you mean a new greeting? Like a, a new voicemail. Okay, hold on. <laughs> it see. might be quiet, but uh, yes, just. <laughs> Believe it or not, Ramon is Oh my God, that's not it. Bro, never mind. I'll be back. I gotta change it. Believe it or not, I'm not home. After leaving a message, you can hang up or press pound for more options. Change the voicemail now. <laughs> Listen to that beautiful voicemail I just gave you. He's muted. He's muted, isn't he? Yes, he is. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll play my voicemail again. This is Detective Bad. I'm currently on an investigation, so I can't come to the phone. Call me later, and I'll give you a lollipop. <laughs> okay, back to it. This room is mainly filled with cream, and 50 Fahrenheit is the recommended temperature for preserving fresh cream. Huh, really? That's what got the waste! Looks like Miss Delicious didn't know. <laughs> I thought she was supposed to be a first-class pastry chef. The fake desserts and the rule violations, and now, her lack of basic knowledge, looks like she keeps many secrets. Alright, let's go back and use these two. Celestia's knowledge in the art of dessert making is lacking in fundamental uh, fundamental areas. And she claims she went into Mr. Master's room in order to study his desserts. These actions and ideas are not fitting someone are not fitting of someone aiming to be the world's greatest pastry chef. Yeah. They don't sound like the words of a pro. It's like she doesn't even realize it, or... Or maybe she isn't a real pastry chef. Perhaps she had some other intention. It's possible that she didn't go into the room to study desserts. So then... Are you saying Miss Delicious is the criminal? We can't say that for sure yet. But I know she's hiding something from us. Investigation a complete. What is this absolutely chaotic group we got going here? That's enough investigating. Hmm, we found much, much more than I expected. And yet, something from before still bothers me. Prosecutor Von Karma must have found the murder weapon in this room. So then, why did he let Delicia be? Firstly, I must ascertain Von Karma's true motives. Detective Bad, I would like to, pro to ask Prosecutor Von Karma something. I've also got business with him. And Delicia there too. Oh, what's the idea, buddy? Don't clear me like that. It seems Detective Bad also has his doubts about Delicia and Von Karma. 
Delicia, would you come with us for a moment? Yes, it, that's... that's fine. What for? We have to find Von Karma. There are also some things we need to talk to you about. Okay, we're moving forward. We're in the garden, the fountain patio now, back where we started. There he is. Prosecutor Von Karma, we need to talk about the case. From the look on your face, I assume you found the murder weapon. <laughs> okay, I fixed it. <laughs> My voicemail should be correct now. Okay, let me call it again. <laughs> uh, talking to a damn machine. This is Dr. Otto Octavius. I cannot get to the phone right now because I just lost a large roll of $20 bills in a rubber band. Please call back later. After leaving a message, you can hang up. For more options. Did you hear it? I found the rubber band. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to it. Okay. Listen to both of them. I listened to the first one. Play the first one over the mic, please. Again, I deleted it already. Oh. One new voice message. Your messages, press one. New message, 3.13 a.m. Oh. To reach the <laughs> message, please. Please. You have no more messages. You are at the... Amazing. Bro, <laughs> Let's, we got Otto Octavius and Detective Bad. <laughs> they both buy the same trench coat. I can't come to the phone. I'll be I'll give you a lollipop. <laughs> oh god, when my freaking manager calls me, she's gonna hear that. This is Otto Octavius. Dr. Otto Octavius. And I'm currently missing a t stack of $20 bills and a rubber band. Please help, now. <laughs> my dream is dead. My rose is dead. My roll of $20 bills and a rubber band is dead. And these. Bro, I rememberized that entire scene. And I probably memorized the whole movie. These things. <laughs> these things. things. <laughs> the Bushmaster with the uh, Doc Ock arms, bro? Too powerful. Way too fucking powerful, bro. And they're powered by, uh,. Whatever he is. Nothing will stand in my way. Not even Luke Yage. Nothing! <laughs> <laughs> what was the, uh, what's the, the, her the Herbie used to get strong? Um, I forget. Uh, I, oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Nightshade, Nightshade, Nightshade. There we go. The power of the Nightshade. In the palm of my hand. The power of Harlem. In the palm of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what, what else is there? The power, the oh, power yeah. to, to he grabs... He... <laughs> he just grabs the falcon. You're not Luke Gage. <laughs> <laughs> You're not faster than you say, but you know. You know faster than you say, but you know. <laughs> Looks like I got competition, seen. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Luke Cage. Luke Cage? Hello, Luke Cage. You're not Luke Cage. I am Bush Master. Then <laughs> he start laughing, bro. Come on, <laughs> and he just kills them. <laughs> he pulls out a sword, does like the anime thing where he just like pulls it out slightly, and they're all dead. 
Spookies. <laughs> Look, yeah. You're leaping out into the darkness of the Stokes history. You think that fancy new suit is going to save you, Luke Yeech? <laughs> <laughs> Why is he Dr. Octopus? You now? think that fancy new hard skin of yours is going to save you, Luke Yeech? I don't think so. <laughs> Go Super Saiyan. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Ultra Instinct Bushmaster. This is Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct. Now to go even further beyond. Da! Sing! 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 Ah! Look, Cage! Stocks! Mariah! Stocks! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're Kiakeroto. <laughs> oh, you're Kiakeroto. <laughs> you're Kia Kyoto. You're a little Oito. You're a Oito. Bro, I'm so glad that I watched the show with top subtitles, but like, man, the subtitles literally do not, like, say the word normally. <laughs> the, the subtitles have the accent in there, too. Like, now I can understand, but back when I was first watching Luke Cage Season 2, all I was hearing was, I think you see what you're seeing on Luke Cage, you can see on the thing, the name, the Bushmaster, the Luke is Stokes, but I Stokes to the thing, the Maria Stokes, you wish I'm bold. That's what it sounded like. Yeah, I understand. Dem de no man is saying, he's like, that's all I hear. Dem de no how to be nice to the thing. Like, bro, what? Scene. <laughs> Bro, you could we're gonna get cancelled on Twitter. I'm just gonna say that, like instead of saying right, I'm gonna say Sheen. Sheen? Sheen. But S H like Sh like Sheen from like Jimmy Neutron. <laughs> Sheen. 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 Alright, let's get back to the game. Yes. Yeah, that's just a quick intermission. We discovered the murder weapon in Delicia's room. It would seem Mr. Master isn't the only suspect in this case. Ugh, that's not true. Where the murder weapon was found does not change the fact that Master is the culprit. As long as I am here. Why is Von Karma so sure of himself? Well then, aren't you going to explain? Why the murder weapon was in Delicia's room? Naturally. If you wish to know, I'll tell you. Oh boy, we have to cross-examine him already. In order to pin the crime on Delicia, Master used the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. He then deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. <laughs> if he had left the murder weapon at the crime scene, Master would have been the one suspected. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Ergo, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. See? <laughs> I like that animation. Mr. Master, <laughs> Mr. Master took the rock salt lamp? Precisely. I'm not doing this, bro. I can't. <laughs> Precisely. I carried out the investigation myself. There could be no other room for doubt. Do you have evidence that he moved it? That will not be necessary. <laughs> it's literally the same voice. What? 
<laughs> if you have an objection, say it. Objection. Wait, wait. How did you? What? 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 Tisk tisk tisk. What did you say for that? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think I'm your attorney? Can break my logic. My <laughs> voice died from there. I like that. <laughs> In order to break the crime, I'm losing out. I should use the rock salt lamp to kill the victim. <laughs> he took the rock salt lamp from Blissia's room. Exactly. In order to kill Dover, he had prepared the murder weapon beforehand. <laughs> but the murder weapon was found in Delicia's room. Doesn't that place suspicion on Delicia too? <laughs> I'm not finished. Rasher killed Dover. <laughs> it's getting worse though. <laughs> he deposited the murder weapon in Delicia's room. <laughs> so the murder weapon was the rock salt lamp hidden inside the candy castle. I discovered the murder weapon when I entered the castle. Be thankful, the best of their that you two came by this information. Why was it necessary for you to enter the castle? Ah, uh, maybe he's interested in candy castles? Why, do you think I went in there because I wanted to? The detectives on the scene were useless, so I had to investigate myself. I wasn't in charge of the initial investigation. Detective Bat joined the investigation halfway through. Brr, I'm sure it's worth ethic it's required if you work to gain my trust. This is a flagrant waste of time. I'll continue. <laughs> it doesn't actually hurt my voice that much to do it. If you had left the, left the murder weapon at the crime suit, Master Webb is the one suspected. Wouldn't the body left behind in this room also be cause for suspicion? Moreover, I have a favorite sir. I'd like to share with you. Even dogs can wait. Wait until I've finished! That's exactly what I'd like to say to you. Damn, okay. I regret move the body, but it was easy to move for the murder weapon. Are you saying that Mr. Master removed the murder weapon and hid, it, hid the body inside the chest? He believed that if he hid this weapon, if he hid it inside his own work, it would not be discovered. Uh, so, so, so sad. It's so, so sad. <laughs> Don't you mean so sorry? She shows no sign of remorse. We removed the murder weapon and left behind the body at the crime scene. Her girl, there would be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. How can you conclude that Mr. Master is the killer without ev any evidence? <laughs> you think that he will save me? You disappoint me. As long as the body was found in Master's room, he is the prime suspect. Is there really no evidence pointing to anyone else at the crime scene? Surely there's room for further investigation. Insolent attorney. Another investigation is not necessary. Master must be the killer. If you think differently, cease these bold words and speak with evidence. Think back to the crime scene. If Mr. Master isn't the killer, there must have been something in there incriminating someone else. It seems Von Karma won't be shaken easily. I'll just have to present evidence that contradicts his reasoning. Okay, well... Well, 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 you see, you see here... We all have to burn away from the crime scene, Mr. Erwin is suspected... He, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. No, it fucking wasn't. He would need the key. He would need to. He would... Oh yeah, he does have the key, but like the doors were locked. 
I'm gonna save state because I don't want to give this motherfucker the, the satisfaction of him being right. Objection. Yeah, see? <laughs> Ta. Okay, so it's not any of these ones. Luke Cage. There will be no evidence pointed to a specific culprit at the crime scene. <laughs> Except for, uh, you know, the other one. I don't think it would be this one either. I like the murder weapon of the crime scene master would have been the one suspected. Hey, that's not funny. <sighs> Couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. This one's tricky, actually. What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? Thing. Uh, yeah. A blue cloth. I like the relax this relaxing color. As expected of Mr. Edward. That's so old school. Come on, let's hurry and make it glow. Y yes, does he mean I'm old fashioned? Damn, they got hella colors. Ah, there's some switches over here. They probably control the color of the cloth. Raven, try pressing one. The cloth has started to glow. Raymond. So mesmerizing, I could look at it all day. The rainbow light device has made the cloth glow with light blue aura. Speaking of which, which one of this cloth and this device has gone missing? I wonder where it went to. I don't have the answer to that, but it could be related to the case. Yeah, I'm at a loss of what to do for here. This rock salt lamp has a hexagonal base. The recess in the pillars must have been made to match its shape. After all, they fit the pillars in the candy castle perfectly. Is that Goku? It's Goku. Is there nothing talking about the fingerprints that we found of her at the scene? Scene? Uh, this? <laughs> My god, this mo motherfucker Von Karma was giving me the hard time, bro. Ugh. Legends ticket. YZ power. Objection. Equipment medal. Bro, I. Uh, this is. This is. Get me to hell. I can't figure this shit out. Oh my god. There will be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit of the crime scene, but there should be, but we don't have it as the fucking evidence. What the fuck? It's a way to be near the body of the crime scene. Does this design hold a special meeting? I mean, maybe? Objection. No. No. No! It's easy to move the murder weapon. Wait, what?
I'm just doing shit now. I actually don't know which one. Okay, let me let me go case by case on this. Use the rock salt life kit to lick them. Okay. Deposit the murder weapon in Alicia's room. Okay. They left the murder weapon in the crime scene. Master would have been the one suspected. Okay. He couldn't move the body, but it was easy to move the murder weapon. Sure. There will be no evidence pointing to a specific culprit at the crime scene. Oh, the cloth. There we go, because we saw the cloths there at the crime scene, too. It's true that the murder weapon and bloodstains disappeared from the vicinity. However, there was still one piece of incriminating evidence left behind. Have a look at this photograph, which was taken by when the body was when the body no body was first discovered. First, first discovered. This cloth was this cloth. This cloth was used to wrap the body. Doesn't it remind you of the fluorescent cloth from Delicia's room? was that the crop scene? Ah, floor. Fluorescent cloth. You, this one part of this cloth is fluorescent. <laughs> I guess Spawn Carver doesn't know about the cloth's secret. It looks like a normal cloth at first glance. But if you use the rainbow light device, you can make it glow. The prosecutor Von Karma seems a little surprised. I don't think it was the cloth's ability to glow that surprised him. One sheet of this fluorescent cloth is currently unaccounted for. Now I'd like you to look at the color of the cloth in this photo. Don't you think it looks like the color of the fluorescent cloth before it's been lit up? Both the rock salt lamp and the fluorescent cloth originally belonged to Delicia. Wouldn't it be natural to assume that this cloth was used to wrap the body? This way is just dot dot dotting. Prosecutor Von Karma. I believe the present, present conditions give us much reason to suspect Delicia. Bruh. How, wait, what the fuck? What the fuck was that? What the fuck was that? W w excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? How did you just- How did you do that? How'd you do that? Oh, uh, Greg, did you really suspect me? I don't yet know if you are the culprit, but it is true that you're hiding something. Am I right? Uh, uh, that- So, you're saying that the murder weapon and the cloth were originally from Delicia's room. Yes. <laughs> That's the noise. <laughs> What's so funny? There's always expression from you. The murder weapon and the cloth are not from her room. Ah, fortunate for you. What does he mean? Before the conference began, Master noticed her violation of the rules. He confiscated the cloth in the rock salt lamp and kept him in his room for safekeeping. What? The victim was not seen, as he stayed locked up in his room after the conference had begun. The only one who would have unlocked the dot locked room was Jeff Master. I mean Bushmaster. Bushmaster. And the murder weapon, the rock salt lamp, was being kept in this yeah. <laughs> be kept in Master's room. This should be the device of evidence proof proving Master's guilt. If I deter it, you've lost me before you even had a chance to stand in court. <laughs> What's this? What? What was our? What was our investigating all for nothing? Mr. Delicious, or Miss, Miss Delicious. Why did you tell us about your confiscated items? Uh, uh, well... I said I looked suspicious if I did. Prosecutor Von Karma? And it's true, you all suspect me, don't you? Ah, <laughs> how come she would have been Von Karma. So that's why he loves to investigate Felicia's room. Hey, your club, There's one more thing I need to inform you of. Two sets of fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Two. Yes. 
They belonged to Jeff Master and Alicia Scones. No other fingerprints were found. After Master killed Dover with the confiscated Rockland Salt Lab, he foolishly concealed the murder weapon be bearing his own fingerprints in his own drawers. <sighs> oh my god, I don't even know you need to prove my case for it. I have more than enough perfect evidence to prove Master's girl. Objection! Hold it. I still have some doubts about the fluorescent cloth found in Mr. Master's room. Irrelevant. After disposing of the body, he would have to return it to Lis Delicia's room. I don't have enough information to refute Von Karma's reasoning. Nothing left to say. If your job is done, leave this place. Uh, that's. I can't give up yet. We wasted enough time as is. Bad. Take them away. There are still some doubts left in our investigation. Detective Bad. Yo, look at them together, bro. Look at them. What's the meaning of this? It's not my nature to leave any doubts behind. There is still one piece of evidence that has yet to be identified. That's right. There are still traces of someone left behind. Talk about your doubts as much as you want later. But this, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Objection! No, I also have some doubts about one piece of evidence. It's likely that I have the same doubts Detective Bat has. What? This is the piece of evidence left behind in Mr. Master's room that is yet to be identified. I'll just save state just in case because I, I am thinking of actually two things. You know what I might do tomorrow at work? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. What? I think I'm just gonna buy a frame and just print out a picture of Detective Bad <laughs> and have a picture of him in my room. <laughs> Look up Detective Bad poster. Wait, is there Ace Attorney figures? Well, let me look that up. Detective Bad figure. Oh my god. Well, let me put Detective Bad toy. There's no Detective Bad figures. No. No. Yeah, no, there is none. Damn. There should be though. I mean error. Bitch. What are you talking about, man? Let's just do this attorney. There's plushies. Boy, it's just Phoenix. <laughs> it's just him. I mean, there's a gumshoe figure. Okay, let's uh, detect our uh, Ace Attorney toys. Get the manga, bro. That's a bad manga, bro. Damn. Wait. What is this? Oh, it has. It has its well, own. It has its own original fucking. Uh, it has its. It's its own original stories too. Is bad. Well, the manga isn't actually a. Uh, it isn't a um an adaptation, it's an original story. <laughs> yeah, hold that I got I gotta I gotta send you this link. 
I don't know if Detective Bad is in the manga though. Where's the uh the share? I don't know damn coupon. There's no share button. Okay, and then I'll just send you the whole link. Do you want this for Christmas? <laughs> How do you have a, I don't even have an iPhone that's like that, bro. iPhone. Is that an iPhone? iPhone. I, I think so. I don't know. What was I gonna say? Oh, right, Detective Bad poster. I put Detective Bad phone case and that's what showed up. Bro, I, 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 I kind of like the, the art in the manga. We're doing a manga intermission. Okay. <laughs> um, Look at this shit. So, <laughs> I searched up Detective Bad poster. Yeah. What do you think shows up? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have to buy that. You have to buy that. You have to buy that, bro. You have to buy that. Nah. Nah, how much? $16? Bet, bro. Fucking bet. I'm buying bro, that shit. Redbubble has the dumbest shit imaginable. <laughs> this website, I can't... They have they have t-shirts? They have t-shirts of it? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I need to buy the t-shirt. Nah. <laughs> There's no way you can get this on a fucking t-shirt, bro. Hey, yo? Yo, this picture's kind of fire, actually. I might actually get this as, Look at like, this frame shit. tomorrow. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh my god. God, <laughs> buy it. The please. thing is, I'm not buying that. <laughs> Detective Bad, like, bro, why does that come up? Um, nothing matches Detective Bad. You wanna see Search what I'm gonna get? Ty uh... Tyrell Bad. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this printed out and framed tomorrow. Yes. E. Or should Bro, I get? Why are you looking should, like Markiplier all of a sudden? Should I get the uh, the one like the Chad one printed <laughs> out tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why not? Why not? Bro, what if I just search why? on Phoenix right? Like in general, let's we'll see what shows up. <laughs> Tyrell. Oh my bad. god. This is an actual sticker. This is an actual sticker you can buy. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. That's actually oh, sick. No, though. I'm buying this. I'm buying this. No. There, nah, nah, nah. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is actually sick. Damn. I, nah, like I, I want to buy that. I want to buy that. Fuck. What else is there? Oh, nah, this is sick. This, 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 this fucking thing is actually sick, sick too. This poster, bro. Look at this. What in the... Is this a fighting game? It's like a wrestle. It's like a boxing match poster. No, this. What? Hold on, I gotta. What? There's, there's actually some sick shit in here. Is this a fighting game? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Is this a Hogan or something? <laughs> Bro. I don't know. I put Tyrell bad posters who shows up. Wait. Have you bought something off Redbubble before? No. 
Do you know if it actually gives the thing or just? Yeah, I, I, I know, I know one thing that they delivered. I have to show it to you though. Someone bought. Well, I gotta get the link. Where is it? I know someone bought this and it did deliver to them. <laughs> I'm going by. <laughs> I'm, yeah, leaving. Someone... I'm leaving. No, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> someone made a TikTok on it. And they actually had that skirt. Oh my fucking god, bro. Come on, what is bro, that? The just go on. I didn't even see that Kyle was in the fucking chat, bro. Because what the fuck is that? Just go on uh, Redbubble, put Baltsky. They have stickers, ammo <laughs> cases, tons of shit. Bro, I'm too busy looking at this fucking amazing, uh... Amazing Simpson sticker, bro. What in the actual God he, in his name and G G Lord Jesus name? What? <laughs> Is that Fall Guys? It's Fall I Guys. I think so. <laughs> Bro, I'm buying that. <laughs> Bro, this is where this is where two mad buys is fucking shit, bro. Bro, one he probably created this website. I seem to have like Dragon Ball stuff. Obviously. The, f the Dragon Ball fan I am. Bro, Redbubble is just ridiculous. They have the dumbest shit ever, dude. Bro, they probably had sales for Black Friday. I'm, I want to buy that fucking gold op mug though. Like I, that actually is sick. What is this? You can just, just buy this. I'm just gonna switch up to mad. I want this shirt. Can you get me this shirt? <laughs> Only if you buy me this mini skirt, bro. You you want the Baltsky mini skirt? I want I want this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I gotta see what's. I also freaking... really like this one, bro. I really enjoy this one. I'm an enjoyer of this one. Oh my god. This this one is also nice because I really like the picture of the guy wearing it. <laughs> you should have got two men to wear this stuff. He has his own merch though. <laughs> what? A shower curtain? Yeah, they have everything. <laughs> they have freaking masks too. <laughs> Oh, I found one. This is perfect. Yeah, I'm buying this too. How much is it? Ten dollars for a man, bro. It might be US though. There's so much too bad shit. Oh my god. 
People are just fucking memeing on this goddamn website. <laughs> like, what else is- what else? Like, I don't know. I don't know. What else do we meme? Bushmaster. Oh, yeah. I'm immediately looking it up. Me too. Oh my- what? Firearms? What is this? I don't see no Bushmaster. It's just snakes. It's just snakes. Uh. Stop. I found. I found Bushmaster. Wait, really? Yes. Yes, I found Bushmaster. Where? Yes, Bushmaster. It's Bushmaster. It's Bushmaster. Oh my God. Is that... <laughs> what is that, bro? What is that picture? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna look up Luke Cage. <laughs> Luke Cage. Can't find any of them. Oh, this one's sick though. This t shirt's actually kinda sick. Yo. I want Jesus, I might actually buy this shirt. Holy shit. Dude. Yo, please buy this shirt with me. We gotta rock this together, bro. Nah, I'm buying a different one. No, we have to rock this together. What did he just <laughs> We have to, bro. We have to. That's a little more. You can. Oh my god. I want this sticker. What? Dude. That's fine. That's actually a fire sticker. It's only. Like five dollars. I'm gonna look up Daredevil. <laughs> Bro. I want that sticker. That's literally just a red shirt, pretty much. This is literally just a red shirt. Bro, there's so much Bully Maguire stuff. <laughs> Why is there so much Bully Maguire stuff? Oh no, nah, this is a banger. This one's a banger. This one's actually a banger. Look at this. Mmm, that's fire. <coughs> Can this I change the color? Oh no, nah, this one's a banger too. This one's a banger too. Oh my god. Look at this. Ooh. That is fire. I like we're just looking on this now. We've gotten so distracted. <laughs> oh, because it's already okay. So I, I'll probably have to oh, get it white. I thought it was a... Or dark gray. I wonder if you can buy the uh, I'm Not Daredevil Christmas sweater. I would buy that. I'm bookmarking this. <laughs> okay, no, now now I have to buy this. Now I have to buy this. Now I have to, I have to buy this, bro. No, look at this T-shirt. Let the, the <laughs> bro. I want to buy this. I actually might buy this hat. Pizza, you bro. That's actually sick. Bro, Bully McGuire is, bro. <laughs> yo, yo, this, yo, 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 I'm buying this. I'm buying this. I have to buy this. I have to buy this. What? I have to buy this. <laughs> it's not even well edited. It's so <laughs> shit, but I want it. <laughs> 
Please. Please. Bro, I want to buy this and walk into the uh, Spider-Man No Way Home theater with it. <laughs> oh, but bro, the Bully Maguire stuff is like the best shit ever. This is a mouse pad? Wait, this is a mouse <laughs> Wait, did we find the same thing? <laughs> Wait, you sent me the hat? No, Bro, I... What? You sent me a Hello Peter hat. Hello Peter. <laughs> There's an even better one. It's just straight up the picture with the subtitles. Rowden. Let me ask you a question. Do you need a new mouse pad? Oh, did he find the mouse pad I'm thinking of? Do you want a new mouse pad? Oh my god! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Do you want Bro, a new mouse pad? If you buy that for me, I'm getting you something crazy for Christmas. Holy shit. If you buy that you for Christmas. Oh my god, I would love that, bro. How long does it take to get here, though? Wait, small? Oh, there's only a small size. That's fine. I'm bookmarking all of this shit. I'm buying that fucking mug. That's what I'm... I want that mug, bro. Ooh. Ooh. I should be going to Intermission like... to do this, but, like, yeah, I'll go to Detective Bad Intermission. I like this mouse pad, too. This is a good mouse pad. Let me see it. <laughs> it's Two Face, bro. That's Mr. Negative. You want forgiveness? <laughs> get, get religion. Get, 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 get. <laughs> Yo, I actually might buy some shit from here. I'm gonna search up Spider Man Homecoming. Let's see what kind of shit we got here. <laughs> uh, some of this shit's amazing. I want to find a vulture, like, vulture t-shirt, bro. Bro, I- No, I want vulture! I'll just search up Mysterio. Let's see what comes up. Just Mysterio. Do I have to? I'm gonna sign up. Are we both ordering shit? goes hard, not gonna lie. <laughs> Actually, no, never mind. It does not go hard. This, this, this does not go hard. This <laughs> where all the venom do shit is garbage. <gasps> oh, oh, for what I found something for you. What? <laughs> That is amazing. So it keeps getting more and more legendary. Where's the hat? Pizza time hat? Yes. Add to cart. 
Go pick just a turn. Let's see my turn. Oh, this is general game shit. Fuck. I have actually I have something for you. Why have a creamer blanket when you can have a matte blanket? <laughs> oh no, nah, that was a poster man. Oh my god. Bro, Metroid posters go hard. No matter what it is. God, this is what? <laughs> yeah, it's all in American currency. Eh. Are you still gonna go for it? No, cause shipping is thirty dollars. <laughs> I searched up Bay and Rampa, and this is the first thing that comes up. <laughs> but why are like half of them just them without hair? Why is just half of them? <laughs> oh my god. Hold up. I didn't, didn't see it properly for some reason. Gotta refresh the page. Bro, look at this shit. Stop. This is too far. Oh no, this might be it. This might be it. This might be it. This might be it. <laughs> this might be it. What did you send me? Oh my god. That's all the stuff that pulls up for that. Um... Tony Stark, let's see, what comes up for Tony Stark? <laughs> I can't wait for the, uh, for that, for that one face to show up. <laughs> you know the one. No, it didn't show up. There's a Robert Downey Jr. screaming sticker, though. Damn. Thanos. <laughs> Holy I don't Thanos. think i See what there's for Thanos. You're not getting it? No. Why, how I much is it? It's not bad, but. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Bro, why can't they get a t shirt of Thanos' ass cheeks? Come on.
come on, just give me the Thanos ass. Bro, why does this Black Widow t-shirt go harder than the actual movie? <laughs> okay. For a second. For a second I thought this was something else. Hmm. What do you think it was? Purple Vegeta. Oh. Now go look it up though. <laughs> Now we're gonna find the purple Vegeta t-shirt. Oh no, well that's Super Saiyan Rosé, never mind. Okay, I thought I found it already, but no. How much of these are just like stolen fucking like fan art? <laughs> wait, 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 you just... Young Baz? Young Baz. Young Baz. Young Baz. <laughs> <laughs> Young Baz. Now we gotta find that fucking... We gotta find that purple Vegeta t-shirt. If I find a purple Vegeta t-shirt, will you buy it? Probably. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting closer. This isn't exactly it because this is just a like a synth wave thing. But we're getting there. <laughs> I have another one. Ultra Eagle hat. Is that Drip Goku? Is that- Oh no, I found something for your collection from home. What? <laughs> oh come on, there better be a purple Vegeta. What if I just search up Boy Kakarot? Purple Vegeta, there we go. Soul Ultra Ego. It's not the one. <laughs> Don't care about Ultra Ego, I want my guy. Where is he? Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Ah. Uh. This is cursed. I don't know why, this just looks cursed to me. <laughs> There's something about this image. Is that John's? Why? <laughs> I, like, no. Why? <laughs> well, why? I'm just, I don't want to. Be chilly. I know what I'm looking up next. Hold up, where if, do they have it? Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Where is he? 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 I just want a fucking. I want a T-shirt or just that. I want a blanket of just that, bro. I'm not telling you what it is. In case I find it. Come 
on, give it to me. I just want a picture of it. On a shirt. How much is that to ask for, bro? Not a love, not enough love for this man, bro. Why is there no fucking? Oh my god! Don't care about all these other people. I just want fucking my boy. I want my fucking beautiful boy. I will scroll through this entire fucking thing. Thing, the one thing that we need. Mm -hmm. This is the final one I'm gonna look at. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh nah. Oh no, this is no 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 what is this? No, what is this? No, what is this? What is this shit? What is this shit, bro? What is this shit, bro? What is this shit, bro? What is this shit? What is this shit? What is this shit? What is this shit? What is this shit, bro? What is this shit? Look at that Ace Attorney mug, bro. That actually is sick. What's a tall mug? How much? No, I just want a classic mug. That works way better. 3rd December? $16? Oh my god. Twenty-four dollars, and that's USD, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, that would be thirty dollars for a fucking mug. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, uh. I'll buy fucking ninety-nine of them, bro. I'm buying all the mugs they have in stock. Nah. Nah, give give me all of them, bro. Can I can I go even higher? All right, Ramon, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to buy some fucking mugs. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Damn. <laughs> That's American, too. <laughs> 12907.08. 12907.08. 
USD to Detective Bad isn't in the manga. That's sixteen point five thousand dollars. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, Detective Bad is not in the manga. Is Kyle still in chat? I don't think so, it's late as fuck. Yeah. I gotta work in like an hour. Or I gotta leave for work in an hour. stream in a sec, but I want to see, um, any blacks, Ace Attorney Investigations, Manga, how much does it on Amazon, $83, are you fucking kidding me? Who the fuck is spending $83 on this? Who? Where can I buy this? Volume- Three hundred do- Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, $300. Why is the manga so rare? Holy shit, it's... Oh my god. Anyway. Gotta lie down. Alright, if these were the clearest finger marks, then it's possible that the killer also didn't leave any fingerprints on the murder weapon. How did he know the state of the crime scene? I gave them permission to investigate. Bad, what possessed you to let a defense attorney into the crime scene? I don't recall you telling me not to let them in. Such a burden. No rest forever, man. Your salary will be depends on me. Uh. <laughs> He's getting the ghost shoot treatment. This isn't good for bad. So glad to have a kind boss like Mr. Ashworth. Your salary review depends on how well you perform here. I'm surprised that one of your attorney like you managed to uncover in such a short time. However, it is possible those finger marks were mastered all the way. Because he always wore gloves while well coming. Objection. Do you have evidence that those finger marks were left by Master? And moreover, there are still a few points of suspicion surrounding Lycia. Oh? You still haven't given up on that? I don't want to suspect you. <coughs> However, I can't easily trust you that those who tell the lies. You must still be hiding something. Uh, Cranky said, Bully, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you know the temperature of fresh cream must be kept at? You call yourself a dessert chef, but you lack even the most basic knowledge. In your case, it's not even about the lack of knowledge. It's about the Mets. <laughs> In truth, you don't even know how to make desserts, do you? Impressive, Stop trying to force your own reason out. In a court of law, the evidence tells all. If you say the word is a lie, show the with We're not in court yet, but very well. This evidence shows that Felicia can make desserts. <laughs> the only things Felicia made were those were those that broke the rules. The lamp or cloth that brought the rules were that broke the rules were we ground the rest of the room. 
There are no way to win this girl return them to her robe. Objection! Those are not the only fake desserts she made. What? Her desserts may look like something out of a fairy tale at first glance, but in reality, they are nothing but mannequins uh, decorated with cream. Apart from the cream, they're all but fake. Hey. This is not something one aiming to become the world's greatest pastry chef would do. Is this true, bad? Yes. My shoes. Can attest to that. Will that be enough to convince Prosecutor Von Karma? Once he sees what Delicia has done, he'll have no choice but to be convinced. Delicia. The fact that your actions could lead to you being a suspect is no laughing matter. I, 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 I didn't... Uh, is it a time you hold, told us the whole truth? Who are you? And why are you indulging yourself in another contestant's work? Uh, honest, honest. Okay. Uh, 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 I'm not really a dessert shit. It's like I let you do it. What? A pharmacist? That's a completely different occupation. It's no wonder he couldn't hide his surprise. Why is a pharmacist like you participating in this contest? <laughs> Bruh. Even Prosecutor Von Karma is at a loss for words. So that's the real reason why you entered the contest? <laughs> I just don't want to do her voice. So the glove finger marks on a picture frame. What are you doing? Alicia's <laughs> fingerprints were found on Mr. Master's chocolates. So it's true that she wasn't wearing gloves. <laughs> <laughs> your face up with only my desserts. <laughs> I think it's her belly that's stuffed. Her master's dessert told you that you ate. <laughs> you mean you entered the victim's room? Perhaps the victim was already dead by then. It's delicious. You really are good. It's rare you see a woman that's kind of appetite. <laughs> Now you told us the truth, everything's fine. There's no need to apologize. This does not mean your testimony is trustworthy. I'll be rescuing the victim's room after theirs. Only again will I decide if your testimony is true. Prosecutor well, Karma, I'd like to go as well. I also need to ascertain whether my reasoning is up, till, up until now has been correct. I'll let you follow, but I have no intention of letting you investigate. That's enough for me. I think I will end here. Mm hmm. Can I send this? Damn, that's annoying. Play. Shorten it. Make it right here. All right. Uh, I like you playing the We Play song. Oh, this song is fire. <laughs> I can't get over this intermission screen, bro. This is. Why did we create this? We? <laughs> I'm. Why did Detective Bad take over my computer and create this? 
Hey, yo, Kyle, if you're still watching, do me a favor and call my phone. I want you to hear my voicemail. What is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Where did you find this? <laughs> Bro, that's so perfect. <laughs> the inception moment. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, they showed off, uh, the part 6 villain's design for the anime. It's good. It is very good. Mm-hmm. He's dripping. Well. It's, it's, it's Isaac from Castlevania. <laughs> yeah, I was good. it looks like him. He has, like, Alucard's, like, outfit, kind of. That's, that's Draculas. Draculus. Drac. Draculizic. <laughs> Kyle just called me because like, I wanted him to listen to my voicemail. Oh boy. Oh boy, yeah. Bapoopipop. You know the song, Ramon, right? What song? This song is so nostalgic to me. Yeah, I'm tired. This song is Why more nostalgic to me this? than uh, Wii Sports, on, if I'm gonna be honest. I made a mistake. I should have slept. The G field did nothing. <laughs> Whatever. G. Danception moment. What's going on? You know what's another good Daniel. You know what's another good theme? One. Mmm. This song right here. Hold up. I'm nostalgic of this too. Hmm. Bro, why are all the Wii games had so such good feels to them? Oh, you want to hear another banger? Bro, the best we fit game is the obstacle course. Like, that's just an objective fact. This is my favorite. Bro, what am I- I'm gonna do a we we fit stream at some point. <laughs> Why? Why did you have to ruin it for me? It's very nostalgic. 
Bro, I should do a Wii Fit stream where I have a face cam. Mm. Have you ever played Wii Play Motion before? <laughs> what is this? Premiering now? The Wii Sports Resorts one. I haven't actually touched my copy of Wii Sports Resort yet. Wii Sports Resort menu music. Oh yeah, what I is this. this? Is it premiere for JoJo or something right now? What do you mean? I don't know. It doesn't come out until Wednesday. But it's showing the trailer. Wait, Kyle left the voicemail. Hold up. There's 20,000 people here. New info coming soon? What? Okay. Yes, Kyle, that's what they're gonna hear. They're gonna hear Detective Bad. Bro, I should go on- I should make a Redbubble account and make this into a t-shirt. <laughs> no, I'll be a blanket, bro. What is this? It's like an event happening right now. Really? The fuck? I don't know what this is. Or is it the old one from before? I don't know what this is. I don't know. There's no translation, sir, at all. Mm. We don't know what this is. Exclusive global premiere of the first 12 episodes of Netflix starts December 1st. Okay. I'll go on the JoJo, uh, I'll go on the JoJo website to see what's going on with it. I just see Dio. <laughs> just Dio. Is, he in, is he in part 6? Through flashbacks, yeah. Oh! Wow. Why is there Runner Bros? They own it. Or at least, like, the, uh... The anime rights. Are they gonna be in that arena fighter? Bro, that could happen. Can they put JoJo stuff? <laughs> movie? Would be cool. What the fuck? Movie? Oh, it's just videos. I was like, bro, what? It's going to normal JoJo's poor uh, thing. Why are they in front of an aquarium? Yeah. Are those fish a JoJo reference? Does this confirm that Finding Nemo is connected to JoJo? J 
Jojo. You know, I completely forgot that the Part 8 uh, manga ended. Really? Yeah. Uh, Araki confirmed Part 9. Hmm. I know this is. I'm just gonna. I think it was called like Jojo Lands or something like that. Something like that. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end the stream.